ஃபாதர் ஒரு லட்சத்துக்கும் நைன்டி ஒன் டு ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் த்ரீ பரிஷ்குர்வன்மாசக பசுபதி கபர்தோம் சரணராஜ் பராஜாமிருத்பத்மோம் பரமணிதீனாட்டோ பரிகரத்து காமாட்சி மமதாராதீனத்தோமே பரிமுஷித பாத்தோஜ மகிமா பாத்தோஜ மகிமா நம் எகேன் glory of the lotus foot parishkurvan mataha o mother this karana rat now the, the, the pin feet or picture is as a king last shloka they were picture is as a dancing girl now this time they are picture is as a king rat means king raja karana rat your uh, feet as a king pasupati kapardam parishkurvan pasupati is parameshwara He is the head of all Pashus, all Jeevas. All Jeevas are picture of the Pashus and he is Pashupati. So he is the lord of all Jeevas, Pashupati. Kapardam. Kapardam is the matted tresses on his head. The matted tresses on his head is Kaparda. So Parishkurvan, decorating. Parishkurvan is actually purifying. In this case, we will take it as decorating. <coughs> That means the king, which is your lotus foot, actually decorates. the matted dress on the head of pashupati how it goes and decorate the head of pashupati when he prostrates when he prostrates to uh, conciliate her when during times of quarrel of love during times of quarrel of love this has been mentioned in saundarya lahiri also in all devi grantha this is mentioned parameshwara prostrates to devi to conciliate her to make her happy when during times of quarrel of love so at that time your uh, the, the king which is your uh, lotus foot goes and decorates the kaparda the uh, matted dress of pashupati paracham hrit padmam param bhaniti nam cha makutam what else this is charanarat is doing paracham hrit padmam hrit padmam in the, the lotus which is the heart it goes and decorate parishkurvan is common for all these descriptions it goes and decorates the lotus heart of whom paracham that is a very important word paracham means one who has departed paracham means one who has departed those who have departed departed from where departed from mundane pleasures that is the implied meaning those who have deviated departed those who have abandoned worldly pleasures mundane pleasures those hearts heart lotus you go and decorate parama bhaniti nam cha mukutam bhaniti is word parama supreme word what are the supreme word vedas mukutam uh, crown your uh, king the foot as the king is actually the crown for vedic words the upanishads are supposed to be the pinnacle of vedas the crown of vedas and upanishadic tatva is devi lotus foot bhavakye paathodhau pariharatu mamata paradhinatvam me parimushite paathoja mahima your foot has got some glory what is that glory parimushite paathoja mahima paathoja is lotus parimushite means robbed stolen your uh, foot has got the glory of having stolen having robbed the uh, glory of lotus that kind of foot there is a prayer now bhavakye pathodhau pathodhau means ocean patha means water pathodhau ocean the pathoja is also uh, ambuja like that you know uh, lotus grown in water that's why it's called pathoja ambuja like that pathodhau in ocean what ocean bhavakhe pathodhau ocean called samsara akhe me named called ocean named bhava ocean samsara in that mamata paradhinatvam i am completely subservient i am completely a slave of what 
Mamata. I am completely a slave of Mamata. I am completely a slave of mindness. May, may Mamata Parahina Swam. Pariharatu. Let it remove. Pariharatu means let it remove. Let the king, which is your lotus foot, remove the slavery of my mind to mindness, which is struggling in the ocean of samsara, because your foot has got such a glory that it has defeated the lotus of the glory of the lotus. Not only that, it decorates the matted tresses of Sakshat Pashupati himself when he prostrates and it decorates the lotus hearts of those who have said no to worldly interests, who have abandoned worldly interests, such munis and your lotus foot, the king, is also the crown for Vedas, that is the Upanishads. Prasunai samparkat amaratoruni kultala bhavai abhishtanam dhanat anisham apikamakshit namatam svasangat kankeni prasava janakatve nachashive Tridha Dhatte Vartam Surabhiriti Pado Giri Sute O Kamakshi, O Giri Sute, O daughter of Himavan. Now he is saying your foot, now he has been picturizing the foot in various ways. We have seen that. Now the present picture is Surabhi. The word Surabhi has got three meanings in Sanskrit. Now he is justifying that the lotus foot should be called the Surabhi because all the three meanings apply to this. So why you should not be called the Surabhi? That is the question. So let us see how he is justifying the three meanings of Surabhi. Prasunaihi samparkate amara taruni kuntala bhavaihi. The first meaning is fragrance. Surabhi means fragrance. Your foot is having fragrance. Why it is having fragrance? Amarataruni kuntala bhavehi prasunaihi samparkatu. Amarataruni, deva women. Taruni is women. Amara deva, deva women. Kuntala, their hair. Bhavehi prasunaihi. The prasuna means flowers. The flowers in the hair of the deva women. Samparkatu, by contact, when they come and prostrate at your, they continuously come and prostrate at your feet and they are wearing very fragrant flowers. Because of that, your um, uh, foot is always having beautiful fragrance. So that is the first reason why your foot should be called Surabhi. Now next is, second meaning is, second meaning is Kamadhenu. Surabhi is also called Kamadhenu. Abhishtanam danat anishamapi Namatam. Namatam Abhishtanam. Namatam, those who worship. Abhishtanam, whatever they desire. The desires of those who worship. Dhanatu Anisham api. Anisham means always. There is never a time when somebody worships and does not get his desire fulfilled. Never. So it is always. Anisham means always. Dhanatu by giving Dhanam, by granting. Always granting the desires of those who worship. So naturally your foot is Surabhi only. It is Kamadhenu. Second meaning is also justified. Now, third meaning is Vasanta Ritu. Surabhi is Vasanta Ritu, spring season. Now, how it is justified? Sasangatu Sankeli Prasava Janakatvena. Sankeli is Ashoka tree. Sankeli is Ashoka tree. Prasava means, Prasava Janaka means generating flowers. It blossoms. Ashoka tree generates Flowers, Janakatvena, because of that. How it generates flowers? Flowers, Sasangat. When it gets in contact with your lotus foot, by contact, Sasangat, by contact. By contact with your lotus foot, Ashoka tree blossoms and gives beautiful flowers. That happens only in spring season. Ashoka tree gives beautiful flowers only in spring season, but Whenever your lotus foot gets in touch, contact with Ashoka tree, it gives, irrespective of the season, irrespective of whatever time, it gives beautiful flowers and blossoms. So that is why your foot is always spring season only. Surabhi. 
So Sarabhi is three meanings. First is fragrance, second is uh, Kamadhenu, third is spring season. It is fragrance because it has the fragrance of the flowers of uh, flowers on on the hair of Deva women when they prostrate. It is Kamadhenu because it is always without faith, granting the desires of those who worship. And it is um, spring season because it makes Ashoka tree blossom irrespective of whatever season it is by contact. Because even the uh, feet of chaste women, not, no, not even Devi, even the feet of chaste women are capable of making Ashoka tree blossom. That is the belief of Shastra that is mentioned in the Soundary Lahiri also. So, the same is referred to here. Maha Mohaste Ne Vyatikar Bhayat Palayati O Vini Kshiptam Swaspin Nija Jana Mano Ratnamani Chom Saragas Yodrekat Satatam Apikamakshita Razam Kime Vampado Som Kisalaya Ruchim Chorayatite Maha Mohastena Vetikara Bhayat Palayati Vinikshiptam Sasmin Nijajana Mano Ratnam Anisham. Now the lotus foot is doing something very strange. What it is doing? Swasmin inside the lotus foot. Vinikshiptam is kept, is kept for safe custody. Inside the lotus foot is kept for safe custody. What is kept for safe custody? Nijajana Mano Ratnam. The, the jewel of the mind of Nijajana, of her own people. Who is Nijajana? Who is Nija for Devi's lotus foot? Those who worship, those who meditate on her, they are Nijajana, Bhakta Jana. So, for the Bhakta Jana, their mind is like a jewel. So, the jewel is always kept in safe custody. Isn't it? So, where it is kept in safe custody? In your lotus foot. That means what? They are constantly thinking of your lotus foot. That is presented in such a beautiful way. Now, what is your lotus foot doing? It is protecting that Panoratanam, that jewel, that jewel which has been kept inside the lotus foot, which is the treasure, that is being protected. Yaha Palayati, it protects. It protects from, from what danger? Maha Mohastena Vetikara Bhayat. Vetikara is calamity, misfortune. What is the misfortune? Tena means thief. There is a thief who is waiting to take away this jewel. Now, who is the thief? Maha Moha, great delusion. We have seen it before. Because we don't have jnana, we always mistake the transient for the permanent. We always mistake the bad for the good. That kind of delusion is always with us. That is Maha Moha. That is a thief, Tena. Vetikara, that is the thief which he is going to cause us grief. Vetikara is misfortune, calamity. So that bhaya, that fear is there. From that fear, this the lotus foot protects that jewel, which is the manas. Now, you know, the, the imagery is very clear. So ragas chodre kati satatamati sarasa kisalaya rukim sorayati. Now, see, a protector cannot become a thief, isn't it? A, a, a person who is a watchman, who is a guard, he is supposed to guard, isn't it? That's what we just saw. The lotus foot is guarding with great interest the manas of the munis. But it is going and stealing. Saurayati. Stealing what? Kisalaya rukim. Asavapadaha. The same lotus foot. This foot. Kisalaya rukim. The shine of the tender plant. The shine of the shoot. It goes and uh, steals. Saurayati. Tarasa. By force. It doesn't give a chance to Kisalaya Ruki to even fight. By force it goes and steals. Satatam, always. Ragasya Udrekati. Why it goes and steals? He is giving a reason for that. Ragasya Udrekati. Udreka means preponderance, exuberance. Preponderance, exuberance. Ragasya, excess. Raga means attachment. Because of attachment, it goes and steals. Attachment to what? Attachment to red color. 
because Trisalaya is having ragasya, raga has got both meaning. Raga has got a meaning of red color as well as attachment. Now he is beautifully playing with the words because the lotus foot has got attachment to the red color. It goes and steals by force the shine of the tender plant. How it is skim? How how it does this? Because you are supposed to be a protector. How you go and how you become a thief all of a sudden? That is the question. You are protecting the jewel of the manas of the minds of nijajana of bhakta janas, and you are keeping it like a safe custody, vinikshiptam, palayati. You are protecting from the fear of the misfortune of the thief of the great delusion. Sadha swadum karam vishaya lagari shalikanikam samaswadya swadum hridaya shukapotum janani me kripa jane pale kshana magishi kama kshira basan grihitva rundhita ka tava pada yogi panjaraputhe pada yogi panjaraputhe you are twin lotus foot now see every time there is a different picture now this we should forget the previous picture concentrate on the present picture then only we can enjoy the imagery the twin lotus foot is like a panjara like a cage like a cage puta means the the hollow of the cage the inside of the cage inside the cage of your lotus feet you should do something he is saying sada swadumkaram vishaya lahari shali kanikam samaswadya shrantam hridaya sukapotam janani me janani o mother me hridaya sukapotam my hridaya my heart is like a parrot took a potam young parrot potam means young one young one of a parrot child parrot my hridaya is like a young one of a parrot and what does it do sada swadumkaram vishelahari shalitan sada always swadumkaram assuming that it is sweet swadumkaram means not swadu really swadu means sweet swadumkaram means considering it is sweet what it is considering as sweet Vishayalahari shali kanikam. Shali means uh, rice grains. Kanika means small grain, broken rice grains. Broken rice grains. Shalyannam, we say. When we do Nevedya, we say Shalyannam because it is made of rice. Shali kanikam. The broken rice grains. Vishayalahari. What is the broken rice grain which is being considered very sweet by my mind? My mind considers it very sweet. What is that? Vishaya Lahari, the wave of mundane interest. Vishaya, mundane matters, mundane interest, worldly interest. It is coming like a wave. Constantly it is coming and constantly I am thinking it is very sweet. There are actually broken food, broken rice grains. Will anybody, will anybody care for broken rice grains? My mind is like a young one of a parrot. Young one of a parrot doesn't know what is a broken rice grain. So it thinks it is very sweet. Samaswadya. It, it has been tasting it. Samaswadya. Tasting. Swadhamkaram Samaswadya. Assuming it is very sweet, it has been tasting these broken grains and it has become shrantam. It has become tired. Having been, having tasting these broken rice grains constantly, it has become tired. So what you should do? Halekshana Mahishi. Now this is a beautiful address. To Kamakshi. Halekshana Mahishi, Kamakshi. Halekshana is Shiva. Shiva is Kansar. Mahishi, Kansar, wife. Halekshana. Hala means forehead. Ikshana means eye. One who is having eye in his forehead. Nobody is having eye in his forehead, isn't it? Shiva is the only one who has got the third eye in his forehead, so it refers to Shiva. So Shiva's Kansar. Oh, Kamakshi, who are Shiva's Kansar. What you should do with that uh, Shukapota, that uh, uh, young one of a parrot, which is my Hridaya, Rabhasati, by force. Don't give any chance to it. By force, Kripa Jale Grihitva, in the Jala, in the net, 
in the net of your compassion, you catch hold of this grief or catch hold of this parrot in the net of your compassion by force and keep it inside the Padayugi Panjara, keep it inside the cage of your lotus foot. Rundhi Thaha. Rundhi Thaha means Rundhi There is no Radha. That's why I was getting a little bit confused. Rundhi Thaha. Rundhi Thaha. No, it's not correct. Rundhi Thaha. Thaha. Rundhi Thaha means keep it. Rabhasati by force. Keep it there. Rundhi Thaha means hold it there. Hold it inside the, the cage of your lotus foot. What should be held? My Hridaya Sukapota. The, the young one of a parrot, which is young one of a parrot, which is my hridaya, by by using your net of compassion, catch hold of it and keep it inside this cage because it is very tired, having been tasting, assuming it is very sweet, broken food grain, rice grain, which are actually the waves of vishaya, mundane matters, mundane interest. The Palakshana Mahishi, the Shiva reference has got an indirect beauty, beauty in that. Shiva, by using his Halekshana, by using his uh, third eye, burnt Manmatha. Such a strong person, such a strong person, by your sidelong glance, you made him your slave. That is the indirect meaning. You made him your slave, such a strong person who burnt Manmatha to ashes, strong of heart, now, why you cannot control the small young one of a parrot, which is my mind? That is the indirect meaning. Dunanum kamakshi smarana lava matre na jadima jwara proudim guda siti nigama naikunja kuhare alabhyum sarvesham. Kati chana labhante sukruti na chirat anvishyantaha tava charana siddho shadum idom. Dhunanam kamakshi smaranalava matrena jadima joraprahudhim gudha sthiti nigama naipunja kuhare. Charana siddha aushadham idam. Last line. Idam. This. Charana foot. Siddha Aushadham. The lotus foot is now picturized as a Siddha Aushadham. Siddha medicine. You know there are various medicines. Ayurveda medicine, Siddha medicine. Now we are talking about Siddha medicine. Siddha means what? Something which has been achieved. Success. This medicine is a success. Success medicine. Now what does it do? Dhunanam smaranalava matrena jadime joraprahudhim guda sthiti nigama naikunja kuhare. Dhunanam, removing. Praudhim, jora praudhim. Very intense jora, very intense fever it removes because it is a medicine, no? It is siddha medicine. So it is able to remove the intense fever of jadima, of ignorance. What fever it removes? Not our body fever. It removes the fever of ignorance, jadima, inertia. How? Marana lava matrena. By a mere thought, lava means very small. Lava is very small. Very small thought, very tiny thought. Matrena, by mere tiny thought of your lotus foot, it goes and removes the ignorance, which is like a uh, intense fever. This medicine removes that intense fever. Guda stiti nigama naikunja kuhare. This is also where, where I can find this medicine. This medicine, where to find? Nigama naikunja kuhare. Nigama means Vedas. Nikunja means Lata griha. Nikunja is like a garden. Nikunja is garden. Nikunja is a word which you might have seen in Radha Krishna stories. Lot of Nikunjas are there in Vrindavan. This Nikunja, that Nikunja, where Radha and Krishna were playing. Nikunja is play garden, sporting garden. So, Nigama Naikunja Kohare. Kohara means the inside, the cave, inside area of the garden, which is the Veda. Inside the Guda city, which is kept very secretly. Guda means secret. It is kept very secretly. Which is kept very secretly? This medicine. This medicine is kept very secretly. Inside the 
ப்ளஷர் கார்டன்ஸ் விச் ஆர் வேதா அலபியம் சர்வேஷாம் இஸ் இட் அவைலபிள் டு எவ்ரிபடி கேன் ஐ கோ அண்ட் கெட் திஸ் மெடிசன் நோ சர்வேஷாம் அலபியம் இட் இஸ் நாட் அவைலபிள் டு ஆல் ஹூ இஸ் கெட்டிங் தென் லபந்தே சுக்ரிதி நஹா ஓன்லி தோஸ் ஹூ ஹாவ் காட் மெரிட் இன் தேர் அக்கவுண்ட் தே கெட் சுக்ரிதி நஹா தோஸ் ஹூ ஹாவ் காட் ரிலிஜியஸ் மெரிட் டு தேர் அக்கவுண்ட் தோஸ் ஹூ ஆர் வர்ச்சுவஸ் பீப்புள் தே கெட் இட் லபந்தே தே அட்டைன் திஸ் மெடிசன் ஹவு தே கெட் திஸ் மெடிசன் Shirathu Anvishyantaha. They don't get just like that. They don't get just by going in, in first search. They don't get. Even for them, even for Sukritinaha, Shirathu for a long time. Anvishyantaha, searching, seeking. Seeking, searching for a long time. The good people, the virtuous people get it. And it is not available for all. It is the Siddha Ushadha. It is the Siddha medicine. proven medicine which is your food and it goes and removes the intent fever of ignorance of those who just to think once marana lava matra just by mere thought one small tiny thought and where is this medicine it is in the deep inside the nikunjas the pressure garden of vedas very secretly kept gooda sthiti ranal மஞ்சீரா ஜெண்டோஸ்ஸ் feet satatam namaste always i prostrate i worship your lotus feet now the feet are described ranan manjira abhyam manjira is as you have seen before anklet so the anklets are making sweet sounds ranan means making sound lalita gamana abhyam gamana is movement walking so devi is walking very beautifully lalita very beautiful walk very graceful very gentle walk lalita gamana abhyam sukriti naam mano vastavya abhyam sukriti naam those who have accumulated religious merit they are called sukritis sukriti so those virtuous people who have religious merit in their mano vastavya abhyam in their minds vastavya means residing residing in their minds these are all descriptions of the lotus feet lotus feet anklets make beautiful sounds lotus feet walk here and there in a very graceful manner and lotus feet reside in the minds of virtuous people madhita timira abhyam nakharucha nakharucha by the brilliance of the toenails madhita means destroyed removed timira abhyam timira means darkness by the uh, shine of the toenails darkness is always removed by the lotus feet nidheya abhyam patya nijashirasi patya nijashirasi nidheya abhyam patya by his by her uh, consort by her husband that is shiva nijashirasi in his own head on his own head nidheya abhyam fit to be kept nidheya abhyam means fit to be placed the lotus feet are fit to be placed on the head of shiva that means what shiva whenever he prostrates to devi because of quarrels of loud in order to conciliate her her uh, the lotus feet get in contact with his head and he enjoys that that is what it means 
பத்தியா நிஜசிரசி நிதேயாபியாம் சததம் நமஸ்தே பாதாபியாம் நளின மிதுளாபியாம் ஸோ ஐ ஆல்வேஸ் ஒர்ஷிப் த ஜென்டில் சாஃப்ட் லோட்டஸ் ஃபீட் ஆஃப் காமாட்சி ஆஃப் த டாட்டர் ஆஃப் ஹிமவான் த லோட்டஸ் ஃபீட் மேக் பியூட்டிஃபுல் சவுண்ட்ஸ் வித் தி ஆங்கிளட் சாஃப்ட் அண்ட் ஜென்டில் கேட் தென் தே ரிசைடு இன் தி மைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் வர்ச்சுவஸ் பீப்புள் by the shine of the toenails darkness is removed by the lotus feet lotus feet are fit to be placed by shiva on his own head i prostrate to this lotus feet surage rakendu pratinidhi muke parvat sute chira labhe bhaktya samadana janana மனோபிருமாட்சி vamakshi the beautiful consort the beautiful consort who occupies his left side tripurahara vamakshi vamakshi means actually means one with beautiful eyes beautiful woman that is devi makkaha manobhringaha third line makkaha means my manobhringaha the bee which is my mind pada te pada kamala yugme te your yugme the twin pada kamala lotus feet prakamam ramatam prakamam means as it desires to the extent it desires to the heart's content to the heart's content let my um, mind which is be let it enjoy ramatam let it go and enjoy in the lotus feet which is yours te padakamala yugme now the lotus feet are further described in the first two lines surage they have beautiful red color raga is red color we have seen before surage beautiful red color ragendu pratinidhi mukhe the face of <coughs> devi is ragendu pratinidhi mukhe the uh, face of the lotus feet the face of the lotus feet or representative pratinidhi is representative of ராகேந்து பூர்ணசந்திரா ஃபுல் மூன் ராகா இந்து ஃபுல் மூன் ஃபுல் மூன் இஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்டட் பை தி ஃபேஸ் ஆஃப் தி லோட்டஸ் ஃபீட் பட் நார்மலி த ஃபுல் மூன் இஸ் கம்பேர்ட் டு ஃபேஸ் ஆஃப் தேவி ஸோ ஹியர் வி கேன் டேக் இட் ஆஸ் டேக் இட் ஆஸ் அட்ரெஸ் டு தேவி இன்ஸ்டட் ஆஃப் Uh, taking it as uh, description of lotus feet because it doesn't gel properly so what we will do kamakshi tripurahara vamakshi rakendu pratinidhi mukhe so these are three addresses surage goes with lotus feet so he has combined like that so rakendu pratinidhi mukhe your face is a representative of purna chandra full moon parvata sute because parvata sute is also for the devi not her uh, lotus feet so the two go together daughter of himavan your lotus feet or chiral labhye bhaktya samadhana jananam parishada bhaktya labhye they have to be attained only through devotion they cannot be attained just like that by reading mokapantishati you cannot attain lotus feet they have to be attained only by devotion can it be attained in one day no chirat after a long time even after showing devotion over a very long time only it can be obtained by whom it can be obtained not for, not by everybody samadhana jananam parishada samadhana those whose wealth is shama shama is control of mind those whose wealth is control of mind parishada their assembly their group by that group by that assembly of those whose mind has been controlled and they also have to show devotion over a long time that is labhye then only the lotus feet are attainable so he is giving us a very clear cut warning how to attain lotus feet o kamakshi 
oh consort of shiva tripurahara may my mind which is be enjoy to the heart's content your twin lotus feet which have beautiful red color and which are attainable only after a long time through devotion by the assembly of those whose mind has been controlled o daughter of himavan o the devi whose face is representative is similar to full moon shire samvid rupe sashish kala chuda priyatame shanai gatya gatya jita sura vare be girisute yatante santaste charan nalinalan yugale sada baddum chit pramada kariyutam dridhataro no the first uh, two lines are addresses to devi so let us see them shive we have seen before consort of shiva very form of auspiciousness samvidrupe whose very form is samvit supreme consciousness supreme knowledge supreme awareness that is her form she is not uh, holding supreme awareness as a quality see if you read a book that knowledge is with you this is not like that this knowledge is not with her this knowledge is herself she is the very form of that knowledge of the form of awareness of the form of consciousness sashi shakala chuda priyatame priyatame beloved of sashi shakala chuda shiva whose head is adorned by crescent moon sashi shakala shakala means a part a part of moon that is crescent moon chuda means on the head who is wearing on the head that is shiva whose uh, beloved priyatame chanair gatya gatya jitasura varebhe girisute girisute daughter of himavan chanaihi gatya 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 agatya that means going and coming movement to and fro chanaihi very gentle very slow very slow to and fro movement by that jita suravare bhe jita means you have conquered you have defeated whom suravare ibhe ibha means elephant suravara the great elephant of devas suravara devendra the elephant of devendra you can take it that way also suravara ibhe suravara is devendra elephant of devendra is airavata so airavata is defeated by your gentle to and fro movement that is the description that of course applies to the lotus feet yatante santaha te charana nalina alana yugale santaha those who have controlled their minds those who are very virtuous some problem with my video just a minute a uh, santaha those who are virtuous those who are saints yatantaha they make attempts they keep attempting attempting to what charina nalina alana yugale alana means the tying post of elephant if you see how elephants are tied they are always tied to a post which is very strong so that they will not break away so alana is the tying post charana nalina alana yugale nalina charana the lotus feet lotus feet the twin lotus yugala the twin lotus feet are like a tying post of elephants they are trying to do what now he is saying sada baddham sada baddhum not baddham sada baddhum that means always trying to tie baddhum means bandhana we know isn't it baddhum always they are trying to tie to that post what they are trying to tie chitta pramada kariyutham kari is elephant kariyutha means group of elephants chitta pramada pramada means intoxicated intoxicated mind intoxicated mind is the group of elephants dridhataram very firmly because once it is tied to the lotus feet it will not move here and there like elephant is not moving once it is tied to the tying post similarly the the saints wish always make attempts to tie very securely their minds 
which are intoxicated. Intoxicated means what? Which are wandering here and there on mundane matters. That is intoxication. Intoxication does not mean they have they are drunk. It doesn't mean that. It means we are all drunk with the comforts of the world, worldly comfort. That is what he means. So Pramada Kari Yudham, the group of elephants. Why he says group of elephants? Because the chitta is not having only one vritti. Vritti means the mode of uh, mind. Chitta has got several vrittis. Several modes. It thinks of something now, it thinks of, thinks of something else next a second and so on. So chitta is not singly focused. So in order to make it singly focused, where it is multifocused now, that multifocused chitta is represented by a group of elephants. Oh, consort of Shiva, oh, form of auspiciousness, oh, form of supreme consciousness, oh, beloved of Shiva whose head is adorned with present moon, daughter of Himavan, you have defeated the Airavata elephant of Devendra by your gentle to and fro movement and saints are trying to tie their group of elephants, which is their intoxicated mind, to uh, tie firmly always to your twin lotus feet which are the tying post of the elephant. Sada Baddham, they are trying always because you try it once and then you leave it, then the mind will wander here and there. We all know it. That's why he is very aptly describing how it should be tied. Sada Baddham, Dridhataram, and it should be tied firmly. Sada Dridhataram. Look at the way he is qualifying how to tie. Yesha Sute Mataka Madhura Kavitam Pakshmalayate Shriyam Datte Chitte Kamapi Paripako Prathayate Satam Pacha Granthim Shithilayati Kim Kim Kurute Prapalne Kamakshaga Pranati Paripati Charanayo Last line, <clears throat> Kamakshaha, Pranati Paripa, Kamakshaha, Taranayoho, Pranati Paripati, Prapanne, Kim Kimna Kurute, Prapanne, one who has taken refuge, Prapanna, Prapati is refuge. You must have come across the term of Prapati in Vaishnava literature a lot because Vaishnavas swear by Prapati to reach Bhagavan. Prapanna means Taking refuge. Kamakshaha Taranayoho Prapanne. Those who have taken refuge in your lotus feet. Pranati Paripati. Their sequence of prostration. Pranati is prostration, worship. Paripati is sequence. It is not just prostrating once. They are keeping on prostrating. The sequence, the continuous prostration. Kim Kim na Kurute. What it does not do. It does so many things. He is listing what it does. What it does. That means, if we keep on prostrating to the lotus feet of Kamakshi, taking refuge in her, then you can accomplish so many things. Yashas Sute. Sute means it generates. It generates yashas. It generates fame. Mataha, O Mother. Madhura Kavitam Pakshmalayate. Madhura Kavitam, sweet poetry. Pakshmalayate means nourishes, we have seen before. It gives nourishment to sweet poetry. Shriyam Datte, it gives wealth. Chitte Kamapi Paripakam Prathayate. This is very important. More than the list which we have seen earlier. Kamapi Paripakam Prathayate. Paripakam is maturity. Kamapi. Indescribable, some maturity which I cannot tell what it is. Prathayate, it generates this kind of repeated prostration, having taken refuge in your lotus feet, generates some kind of maturity which I cannot describe, which my mind has never undergone before. That is what it means. That means what? You will develop vairagya towards samsara and you will develop devotion towards devi. That is kamepi paripa, kam. Satam Pashagranthin Shithilayati. Satam, for those who are virtuous, for those who are virtuous, Pashagranthin, Granthi is not, not of 
bonds pasha is bond every bond has got a knot isn't it that's why we are not able to open that knot we are not able to open the knot which binds us to the samsara because we don't want to open the knot so shithilayati mean making it loose making it loose so that you can open it so it makes it loosens the knot of bonds of those who are virtuous so those who have taken refuge in your lotus feet their continuous sequential prostration what it does not do it does so many things it generates fame it nourishes sweet poetry it bestows wealth it generates some kind of indescribable maturity fruition and for those who are virtuous it loosens the knots of bonds what it does not do it does so many things this list is not exhaustive it does so many other things that is what it means kim kim na kurute manisha mahendriyam kakubham ivate kama pidasha pradhatte kama aksha charan taruna aditya kirana yadi ye samparke ಕಿರಣ ಬಾಲಸೂರ್ಯ ಕರುಣ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಲಸೂರ್ಯ ಯಂಗ್ ಸನ್ ಕಿರಣ ದ ರೇಸ್ ದ ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಡ್ ಕಲರ್ ಕಾಮಾಕ್ಷಿ ಕರುಣ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಫ್ ರೆಡ್ ಕಲರ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಮನೀಷಾಂ ಮಹೇಂದ್ರೀಂ ಕಕುಭಮಿವ ಕೆ ಕಾಮಿ ದಶಾಂ ಪ್ರಧತ್ತೆ ಮನೀಷಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಮೈ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ my thinking kamapi dasham pradhatte it gives an indescribable state kamapi dasha some indescribable some mysterious state pradhatte it gives to my mind to my intellect to my thinking like what mahendriyam kakubham iva like the direction kakubham in direction the quarter of De- devendra what is the quarter of devendra east sun rises in the east so like the uh, ray the beautiful the shining ray of the rising sun it lightens up the eastern sky like that my mind is lighted up my thinking is lighted up whenever i go to your lotus feet that is what it means yadi ye samparke by contact with with which yadi ye means with which with which means with the lotus feet by contact samparke by contact with the lotus feet dhrita rasa maranda kavayatam paripakam dhatte parimalavati sukti nalini kavayatam sukti nalini kavayatam of poets kavayatam of poets sukti nalini the very gentle sayings very gentle nalina means lotus like lotus very gentle very soft sayings sukti good sayings meritorious sayings of poets what happens to those um, meritorious sayings because they are in contact with your lotus feet ediye samparke kavayatam sukti nalini paripakam dhatte dhrita rasa maranda parimalavati dhrita rasa maranda maranda mean makaranda the pollen rasa mean the essence every poem should have some good essence isn't it that essence is likened to pollen so dhrita means holding holding essence that means every poem which these poet creates contains beautiful essence because it is in contact with the lotus feet dhrita rasa maranda not only that parimalavati what kind of essence what kind of uh, uh, beauty is there in the poem parimalavati it red fragrance parimala means fragrance sweet smelling it sends sweet smelling fragrance in all direction parimala vati paripakam dhatte paripakam see see how so much of description he is giving to the poem created by the poet uh, paripakam means 
maturity. It attained maturity because he said Sukti Nalini, the lotus like saying, it blossoms. The lotus blossoms. The sayings become very mature. There is no childishness, there is no immaturity in those sayings because they are in contact with lotus feet. So the rays of the young rising sun of Kamakshi creates an indescribable state to my mind, to my thinking, to my intellect, like the eastern direction of Devendra, that means it lightens up like the eastern sky, by contact with the lotus feet, the sayings, the gentle lotus-like sayings of poet, poets, the poems, start acquiring the pollen of essence and they spread fragrance in all directions and they attain quick maturity. Pura mara ratihi Pura madaya damba Tavashatihi Prasannayam satyam Tvayituhi na shainendra Tanahe Ataste kamakshi Puratu tarasa kala samaye Samayate mataka Mama manasi padabja yugalo Now this Sataka is uh, almost coming to an end. So he is making a very important prayer. A very important prayer he is making, the poet is making. Uh, very beautifully he has phrased the prayer. Pura Mara Ratihi Puram Ajayatu Amba Amba O Mother Mara Ratihi, the enemy of uh, Manmatha, that is Shiva. Mara Aratihi. Arati means enemy. The enemy of Mara Manmatha, that is Shiva. Puram Ajayata, he defeated the cities. He defeated the three cities. Tripura Ari, he became Pura in ancient times. In ancient times, Shiva defeated the three cities. How he defeated, he is telling. Savashataihi prasannayam satyam twayi. Twayi, Savashataihi prasannayam satyam twayi. You, Savashataihi, by his hundreds of stotras, by Shiva's hundreds of stotras, prasannayam satyam, you were pleased. Satyam means you were, prasanna means very pleased. You were very happy, very pleased with hundreds of stotras of Shiva. So he went and defeated those three cities. What is his great accomplishment? It is your accomplishment. That is what it means. Because he praised you through several sotras, he was able to go and defeat those three cities. Tuhina Shaila Yendra Tanaye. Tuhina means Hima. Himavan, we say, isn't it? Tuhina Shaila Yendra is the king of mountains, chief of mountains, which is uh, clad with snow. That is Tuhina Shaila Yendra, that is Himavan, Tanaye, daughter of Himavan. Ataha, hence, now he has made one statement, now he is extending the, the consequence of that statement. Ataha, Kamakshi. I have made one statement that Shiva was able to de destroy the three cities because he praised you and because you were happy, you were pleased with him. So hence, Kala Samaye Samayate Mama Manasi Padabja Yugalam Tarasa Puratu Kala Samaye When the time comes of Kala When Yama's time Samayate means comes When the time of Yama comes Kala Samaye Yama's time Samayate when it comes for me, when Yama's time comes, what you should do? Sarasa, Mama Manasi, Te Padabja Yugalam Puratu. Mama Manasi, in my mind, Te Padabja Yugalam, your twin lotus feet, Sarasa Puratu. Quickly, because Yama will not wait for anybody. He comes and drags you. So, at that time, you should not delay. Sarasa means fast, quickly. Puratu, let it shine. Let your lotus feet shine in my mind very quickly when the time comes for Yama to arrive. Without any delay, you should do this because you were able to make Shiva destroy the three cities because of because you were pleased with his hundreds of sotras. 
So similarly, why don't you do this favor to me? When you can do that favor to Shiva, you can do this favor to me. There is another interesting aspect to this shoka because the destruction of three cities by uh, Shiva, he is describing as Mararati because he destroyed Manmatha also before that. He, he destroyed Manmatha before that. He also destroyed Yama. We know that. Shiva also destroyed Yama. So when he could destroy Manmatha, when he could destroy the three cities, because of the anugraha shown by your lotus feet, why you don't show the same anugraha to me when Yama comes? Kala samaye tamayate, when the time comes for Yama. Because Yama was also destroyed by Shiva. Yama was also vanquished by Shiva. Now there is another aspect of interesting aspect. When Yama was destroyed by Shiva, he used his left foot. Everybody knows that. The Kala Samhara Murti uses his left foot to uh, throw away Yama who gets killed. Now, Nilakantha Dikshitar, the grandson of the brother of Appaya Dikshitar, has written a very beautiful sotra called Ananda Sagara Stava. Ananda Sagara Stava. All of you should go through that very beautiful sotra on Madurai Binakshi. There, he says, because he is in praise of Devi, he says, everybody is giving credit for Yama's destruction to Shiva. What did he do? He did nothing. He used his left foot. Left foot belongs to you because uh, in Ardhanari form, left part belongs to Devi. So he used his, why did he not use the right foot? He could have used his right foot. He used his left foot because it belongs to Devi. So the credit goes to you. This is the argument put by Nilakantha Dikshitar in his Ananda Sagara Sava. So actually, this uh, shloka is pregnant with all kinds of different meanings. Padadvandvam mandam gatishu nivasantam hruti satam giramante brantam kritakarahitana paribride jananam anandam janani janayantam pranamatam tvadhiyam kamakhi Padadvandvam, the twin feet. Gatishu mandam, it is noted for gentle movement. In movements, it is very gentle. He is describing the lotus feet once again. Satam hridi nivasantam, it is residing in the hearts of virtuous people. Giram ante brantam kritakarahitanam. Kritakarahitanam giram ante brantam. Kritakarahitana is Vedas. Kritaka means artificially made. Kritakarahitanam, not artificially made. That means not man made. They are Swayambhu. Vedas are not having any author. They are there all the time. Anadi. So they are. Kritakarahitanam, not artificially made. Giram, word, that is Vedas. Ante, inside those words, Brantam, moving about. Your rotor feet are moving about inside the Vedas words. Paribridhe means, O chief. It's an address to Kamakshi. O chief, O mistress, equivalent to my lord, we say, isn't it? Equivalent to that. Paribridhe. Jananam, Anandam. Janani, again, O mother. Janayantam pranamatam. Pranamatam jananam anandam janayantam. It's very simple to understand. Pranamatam jananam. Those who worship for them, you generate janayantam anandam. You generate ananda, bliss. Those who worship, you are bestowed with bliss. That kind of lotus feet, padadvandvam, we started with. That kind of todiyam padadvandvam, your lotus feet, tamakshi. Pratidinam aham naomi vimalam. Those lotus feet are vimalam. Free from any kind of blemish. Very pure, very pure lotus feet. Aham pratidinam naomi. I worship every day. I worship every day those pure, free from blemish lotus feet of yours, which are noted for gentle gait, which reside in the hearts of virtuous people and which move about inside. The words of Vedas, O chief, O mistress, O mother, the lotus feet also generate 
bliss in the minds of those who prostrate and i prostrate at your lotus feet every day idam yakka maksha sa charana nalina stotra shatakon jape nityam bhaktya nikhila jagada klad janakon savisvesham vandyag sakala kavi lokai katilaka chiram bhuktva bhoga parinamati chidrup kalaya now this is thalashruti now he has completed uh, shatakam in fact more than shatakam he has done 102 shlokas now he is completing it with a palashruti idam ya kamaksha charana nalina stotra shatakam this stotra idam this stotra shatakam stotra consisting of 100 verses describing charana nalina the lotus feet of kamakshi kamaksha yaha nityam bhaktya japet the one who does japa with devotion always every day the one who does japa who chants always with devotion what kind of stotra is this nikhila jagat aakshlada janakam this stotra is generating aakshlada aakshlada ne very great level of happiness very great level high level of happiness is called aakshlada because shlada itself is happiness aakshlada high level of happiness where it generates high level of happiness nikhila jagat in all worlds in all worlds it generates unlimited happiness those one who chants this kind of stotra saha that man visvesham vandya he becomes he gets worshiped vandya he gets worshiped by all the worlds he gets worshiped by all the worlds he gets worshiped by all the worlds sakala kavi lokaik tilakaha he is like a tilaka he is like a adorning mark on the forehead for loka loka ek tilakaha he is the one and only adorning forehead mark tilaka for sakala kavi loka for the world of all poets if all poets are considered as a world and for that world he is the tilaka chiram bhuktva bhogan parinamati chidrupa kalaya chiram bhuktva bhogan he enjoys all the pleasures of the world for a long time chiram means for a long time bhogan bhuktva enjoying the pleasures of this world obviously parinamati chidrupa kalaya is very important parinamati means he becomes he turns into he does not acquire say what you acquire you may lose what you become you cannot lose now for example any young man becomes old can he become young again no so what he becomes he becomes there is no going back to the old state that is that is why he says parinamati he uses the word advisedly parinamati parinama is becoming changing so he becomes he changes into what chidrupa kala ya he change, changes into chidrupa kala we have seen before chitkala chidrupa kala same that means Uh, the very form of consciousness of devi very form of consciousness of devi he becomes that means he merges with devi in short when he drops his body he will merge with devi because he has been chanting every day with devotion this stotra of 100 shlokas uh, describing the lotus feet of kamakshi which generates happiness in all the worlds and he becomes uh, ready for worship fit for worship by all the worlds and he is like a tilaka for the world of all poets shubham